Miss McCain will see you now, Mr. Rosnowski. Mr. Rosnowski, how do you do? I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. I have a lot to catch up with here. How do you do? Have we met somewhere? I really wish you'd called, Mr. Rosnowski. I could have saved your trip all the way from Chicago. I will travel to hell and back to see rich Farm hotels. Yes, I'm sure. I'm very sorry about Mr. Leroy, very sorry. Mr. Kane, Richland Group can be very profitable operation. I have already put Chicago Richland in profit. You see, we're going to be good investment. Therefore, why... Oh, uh, uh, foreclose now. Mr. Rosnowski, I myself recommended to the board that we delay the foreclosure. And they turned me down twice. Let me talk to them. I, I, I know hotel business. Well, I'm afraid you don't know the banking business. We don't operate that way. Mr. Kane, just give me a little time. I can put all hotels in profit. That is better deal for you, yes? All I need is chance to prove. I can do it, sir. I'm afraid the bank's decision is quite final. Unless you can find someone who will assume the $2 million indebtedness within the allotted 60 days, the hotels must be put up for auction on the open market. But you get 10 cents on the dollar. It's out of my hands. I've done all I can do. Oh, yes, I tell you what you have done. You killed Davis Leroy. He was like a father to me, and you killed him, just as sure as if you shot him out that window yourself. We have all suffered personal losses, Mr. Rosnowski. Don't talk to me about suffering. Don't talk to me about losses. I have sat here for a week while you were sunning yourself in Florida. We have met. Tea and cream cakes. The day you got into this bank, you silver spoon Harvard bastard. Now, wait just a minute. You and your colleagues. And you sit here on your asses while we work and we sweat our guts out. So you can take big profit when times are good. And then you sell us out so quickly when times are bad. Let me tell you something, Mr. Kane. When you go to bed at night in your fancy silk sheets, you think about Davis Leroy lying dead on the street in Chicago where you put him. And then you think about me. Because as long as I am alive, I'm going to see that you and your stinking bank pay for that. You go to hell, Mr. Kane. 